at the start of my PhD, I posted a lot of videos about what I was doing, partly to fulfil one of the remits of my funding, that I share my work, um, but also because I was really excited by it all, and really, um, <laughs> there's a photo of me when I got the ethics clearance to do the research, and I remember how I felt at that sort of time, and it felt like like I was about to become me, like the best version of me. All the different bits of things, like all the all the different bits of things that I'm good at, or things that I've done, or were all sort of mapping together into something that is known to have value and possibly would do something and do something in like a proper way rather than just in my little improvised ways. And if you had spoken to me about it at the time, I would have said it's like it's a marathon event because I've had friends who've done PhDs and I've, I've watched people um, do PhDs and I've never known anybody fail. I know it's possible, but I've never known anybody fail. I've known people quit, but anybody who has kept going has got to the end and has got their PhD. And so I thought, you know, so long as you keep going, you get to the end. And I, I didn't realise how accurate the analogy was. Um, I've done a marathon once. Thank you, us and a bus, for um, that once in a lifetime experience I'm not a fan of runners and you know when you set off on a marathon you generally run too fast at the start because of the excitement of everything and so at the start of my PhD I organized my life so that I would be able to give it the time that it that it's owed I worked seven day weeks um, I still I still do that. I work half days at the weekend. Um, and it was what I talked about to my friends, who now no longer want to be my friends because that was all I talked about for a year. Um, I, 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 went, I went in fast. And then you get to halfway in the marathon and you get completely knackered. Um, and then people hit the wall, don't they? This sort of moment where suddenly you can't go on and I hit the the wall in the second year of my PhD when I lost my placement for doing the research and everything that I'd worked so hard for went it just went overnight I lost it all and getting back up after that so when I ran the marathon I did see people who had fallen over you know wiped out gone all white and pasty at the side um getting back up after that was really hard but I was so lucky and so fortunate in so many ways that I found another placement which is it's, just, it's hard enough to get one to get two you know I was very very lucky and I got another placement so I got back up but I spent the whole of that placement terrified that it would happen again, that it would all get taken away again, because it no longer felt like a safe thing. It could all just go. And I don't think I realised at the time how worried about that I was, because I was so grateful, so pleased, so excited to have this placement, that you don't realise that in the background you're really frightened. And I, I didn't realise, but my body realised. And so you saw the medical stuff that went on, or you saw bits of it that went on over the end of last year and the start of this year. I got back up after the wall. And when I, when I ran the marathon, my aim, I wasn't going to, like, I'm not going to do some sort of record time, am I? I'm a middle-aged woman. My aim was to run the whole thing, to, just to not walk. I didn't care how slow I ran. Um, I was just going to run the whole thing. And I got to mile 23, mile 24, something like that. 
and I went super wobbly and really, really dizzy and I had to stop running, which I was gutted about at the time. I didn't fall over, I didn't pass out, I didn't stop. Um, but I went really wobbly and woozy and I had to stop running. I walked a mile. I did run the last two miles. Um, and I think that's the bit I've been in. Like the medical stuff is mostly done. And you think, okay, I'm better now. I'll just finish. But you don't finish a marathon running like you ran at the start. I don't feel like I'm... I remember all the things I thought I was becoming and I don't feel like I'm becoming those things. Maybe I'm... Maybe it's something better. Maybe I'm a... Maybe it's good to have a few more edges knocked off yourself. Maybe those things, if they're worth becoming, are worth you know, becoming for a bit longer. <laughs> so, earlier in the week, I was given a sort of thumbs up of a first draft of all the main chapters of my thesis. There's still a couple of little bits at the beginning and the end that need writing, but they're not as complicated as the stuff I've already written. And the stuff I've already written is only first draft, so it's not done by a long shot yet. But it feels like a milestone. And my supervisors think that I will be done by Christmas. So it's like I can see the finish line. And I have no energy left in my legs, but I am still moving. And it is worth doing. It's worth doing. It's not. I'm not going to cross the finish line as who who I thought I might be crossing the finish line, but I'm but I'm hoping still to cross the finish line, and maybe I'll I'll become the I'll become all the other things sometime later. So that's why you haven't seen so many video updates because I've been wobbling all over the road.